When the downtown lights start to come out at night, we go insane. We go insane. And when I arrive, I start to lose my mind. I go insane. I go insane. Cause they told me you take too much. Yeah, I sure do. So I can feel that now. If they only knew how this was. Yeah, they All right, hey there, fellow racers, and welcome to another episode of Extra Average Sim Racing. So today there are quite a few firsts. It's the first time I'm streaming from my new rig, my Next Level Racing FGT. So that that's the rig that um, could be used in either GT, so straight on position, or F1 position, which is the position I feel I, I have right now. It kind of feels like I'm at the dentist's office because you're kind of laying back and your knees are around your chest area. So you're kind of in the, in the F1 position, which is really, really cool, uh, but it just takes some getting used to. Uh, and it's honestly kind of hard to get in and out of this thing. But once you're in here, it feels really great. It feels uh, supernatural and I, I could be here for hours um, so that's a first for me here I've had it for about a week and a half two weeks um, and so far it's been great uh, it, was, it was a fun install uh, which I actually have an, an install video I've been meaning to post so I might do that quite soon it's also the first time I'm using this little device here strapped to my chest hello hello uh, that is a, a camera that I actually used to start streaming, which is gonna capture uh, the, the wheel, my, my Ferrari SF1000 wheel from Thrustmaster that I have. Uh, the skin you see is just a Porsche skin. Underneath here, there's like all sorts of Ferrari logos, including this one here, but I've got a skin from a company called, oh, what is the company called? I think it's called something like, uh, Love stickers, something like that. Um, let's, let's see what it is. Because I have this wheel here, Lovely Stickers. So Lovely Stickers is a company in Europe, and I was able to get a, a golf skin for my. Uh, I think this is called the Sparco P three ten wheel, and I was also able to get a skin for this wheel here, uh, the SF one thousand from Thrustmaster. doesn't really do anything other than just cover the wheel, but I'm a big Porsche fan. And so I felt it, uh, I felt it was going to be pretty cool to have. I can always take it off and put something else, but I really like the look of this one and it feels really nice. Uh, it looks, it looks really high quality and it just changes the look good. It shakes things up a little bit. So I'm, I'm a big fan of that. So yes, uh, first time using this camera and also it's the first time I'm going to be streaming a set of Corsa Competizione, which is really the game that I started sim racing itself on. Uh, I played Forza and uh, Forza, Forza 7 and a couple other games, but when I started getting serious about sim racing, if you can call me serious about it, I started with a set of Corsa Competizione. And it was my favorite game to kind of get used to sim racing in general, how cars behave. Um, when, when you have real physics, it's a really great game. For those of you who haven't picked it up, I highly recommend it. Yes, it is limited to just GT3 and GT4 and Porsche Cup, but uh, I don't think there's a game out there that can beat the sound, the physics. Um, a lot of folks will disagree. iRacing is the top game as far as the sim racing community is concerned. It really is a great game. I tried it out for a couple months and I just couldn't get into it. Um, and I, every time I hop into a set of Corsa competition, it's just a ton of fun and I love playing it. Um, so we'll be playing that today. The track I'm going to be racing at is Zandvoort. It is the, probably the first track that I turned the racing line off on. So I, I raced it so much that I started building confidence in it so much so that I said, Hey, time for me to get off the racing line here and ever since then 
I've been trying different tracks where I do that as well. Uh, it sometimes means I go off, uh, but uh, Zamford is one that I really feel comfortable in, so we'll be racing there today. I'm racing in GT3 only class. There's an option in, in ACC for uh, GT4, but we're not using that option today. We are racing GT3, and the car I'm racing is the Porsche 911 GT3 R. It is my favorite car in ACC, and it's also the only one I really feel confident in. It's also always trying to kill you, this car. Uh, with, if you don't drive it well, and if you're not very careful, it will not hesitate to like spin at, at any moment. And so you have to be really delicate with the throttle. You have to kind of coast into, um, into your turns. It is a rear engine and real wheel drive car. So it is very finicky. It is very fragile and it's very temperamental, but I absolutely love it. And learning this car <laughs> means I kind of almost miss my chance at learning any other car because all other cars have just completely different physics. Um, the R8 is probably the closest I can think of to this, um, but really uh, <laughs> the 911 is just on its own. So in learning this, I kind of unlearned all other cars, but I love it. And I, every time I try another car, uh, maybe like two laps later, I end up going back to the Porsche. So, um, okay. Uh, and, and the equipment I'm uh, racing on is the, again, the next level racing FGT. A Thrustmaster TSXW uh, wheelbase with a, a TLCM pedals and the SF1000 wheel, which you'll get to see the whole stream. I also have a Next Level Racing HF8 uh, pad for uh, sensation with vibration motors on it so that I can feel the road, I can feel the car, lose, lose traction, wheel spin, uh, ABS, that sort of thing. So let's get right into it. Let's see if I can switch my screens over. There we go. All right, we're in game and it's gonna be a 15 minute race. Just a quick race against 25 other opponents with the uh, Porsche 911 at Zamport. So let's get started. 15 minutes, you'll need to get on with this. The track temp is 24, the air temp is 24 Celsius. P11. Yeah, let's get started. P11, 15 minutes. You really need to get on with it. Told me that already. There's no pressure, right? Let's make sure our wheel is tight. Nice and tight. There we go. All right, yeah, we're going. The track temp is 39. The air temp is 31 Celsius. Lab at Zamport, it just gives you a chance to slowly take in the track and just see the changes in elevation, just the steep bank corners that this track has. There really aren't many tracks that have this type of change. Um, the spot has the huge elevation changes, don't get me wrong, but as far as just, I mean, I think they're, they call this track the roller coaster, and it really does do the name justice. This thing feels like a crazy roller coaster. From here out to the very next set of corners, it's just flat out, but you're turning constantly to a right, left, right. You're going full throttle, and it's it's just a madhouse, especially when you know, we get up to speed and we start racing. Um, you'll see that it's just bananas. It gets, it gets kind of crazy, so I'm really, uh, I'm really excited. Every time I hop into this track, I have a lot of fun, so I'm sure this time will be no different. Uh, we are starting in P11, as Jim, the crew chief, mentioned, and my goal is my second lap. I want to be in somewhere around P6. That's really my only chance at podium. If I'm not around P6 by the second or third lap, uh, I can pretty much kiss any chance of podium or goodbye. So I'm gonna do my best to sneak past a whole bunch of cars into turn one and uh, see how that goes. We'll, uh, we'll see. 
see how it goes. Alright, we're gonna, looks like we're gonna set up a formation here soon. Follow car number 13, in the right column. This turn is the one that's so much fun. Uh, and by so much fun, I mean I go off nearly every time, so... We'll see if I can stay on the on the track and not get into gravel. Well, we shall see. Alright. Go. Getting into formation again, P11 we're starting. I'm gonna try to do a little brake boost. Uh, so I'm gonna hold hit down the throttle and then hold the brake down a little bit to try to get a nice jump on the on the car here on, on my left. Uh, this Audi is uh, it's just crazy. We'll see what we can do. Alright, time to go. Green flags coming soon, so hitting the throttle, holding down the brake, and... Nice and neat, stay out of trouble. Go, go, go! Let's go. Let's go. Still there. Hold your line. Yes, that was a dive bomb. Hold your no. line. Clear left. Thank you. 
Air temperature is now 24. Track temp is now 24 Celsius.
may not seem like it, but it's a really long corner. And here we go, flat out, all the way through the gears. Really through the end of the lift. And now we just feel the car going light underneath. Showing you first year this whole time. 
one or one of the ones I feel most comfortable in so I will gladly take that P2 no problem okay so other than my wheel deciding it's gonna stay in first gear at 78 kilometers an hour uh, things seem to have gone pretty well for uh, for my bit of a test here of all my new equipment so I'm pretty happy. I'm going to, I think, tweak a, a couple things, probably. Um, but overall, I think it worked out fairly well. So I might go back to actually streaming live on Twitch because this was a... Um, ended up having to record this one to make sure everything was all well and settled. But I think uh, I feel comfortable enough to, to go back to streaming on Twitch. So I will be doing that. And then I'll post the recordings on YouTube and Twitch as well. And once I finally get uh, YouTube Live figured out, I might actually start going live on YouTube because I've tried a couple times and it hasn't seemed to work. So 
if anyone has any suggestions on making Streamlabs and YouTube work together or play nice, I, I'm happy to hear them. But otherwise, I will see you all next time, and thanks for joining.